My sincere wish for you is that this never happens to you. But if it does happen to you, it's not really the end of the world. What am I talking about? We've been bringing things into our project. We've got video and stills, whatever. I've actually added a couple of audios just to mix the thing up. And we've got them. But we don't really have them, do we, here. We're only pointing to where they are. So when we bring, say, in movies, and we put them in the movies folder, or we bring in, I don't know, stills, and put them in the still folder, whatever, that's where they are. So this is what you do. You decide to do a reorganization of your hard drive, not really thinking too much about what's going on. And after you've closed Premiere down, after you've added this stuff, you decide to move it out of the original folders. Get where I'm going? Doesn't know where they are now. So let me do this. Go up the word File. You do have an Open Recent. I'm going to open up our project, the one we've been playing around with. It's got my stuff in it. Media Project in the Project Media folder in the Working folder. It's a mouthful. Where is? I moved three files. 01, 02, 03, and 04. Now I know where they are because I purposely moved them. They're on the desktop. So if I want them, there they are. So I can do this. It's saying, where is 0102? I can select 0102 over here and then say open. But I also have the choice of saying skip. Ah, oh, no, no, I, I don't know where these things are. I'll find them later. I know I moved them. You know, my bad. But I don't need them today. So I don't need this frustration. Just skip them. Or, look, every time I open up this program, I don't want to be treated with where these things are. Just say they're offline for now. I'll deal with it later. Or you can just say cancel. Don't do anything. Now, if you do and say cancel, when you go to assets, you're going to see that. It's saying, where are they? These are the missing ones. Now, we can go through the same procedure again. How do we find it if it's missing, say, here? Well, you can right-click on it and go into replace footage. Now, that's the 0102 right there. Now, replacing actually means you can replace it completely with another clip. But if I do this and I rename the clip, it's the same name. I click open. So I've got that one. I can do the same thing here. And that one was 0103. So whether you do it when you open the program up and it says, where are they? Or you do it now if this is the way you want to do it. If you have a missing clip, the reason it's missing is more than likely because you moved it. I'm not saying don't move them. I'm saying if you are going to move them, be aware of what's going to happen. So the case of the missing clip is not really that difficult to solve. The only bad part would be is if you didn't really think much about that, you assume the clips were here because you're using them in the program and you deleted the original clips. In that case, I hope you have the original video files because you're going to have to do it all over again.